Hello, Hello everyone. <laughs> so today we are here as we got bombarded by for last three four months after I started the channel and before that also like we had a lot of questions, uh, especially from you. Like, uh, what are the different problems and challenges and other types of questions during a PhD? And you might have seen Nadi because he also uh, collaborated with me before in some. Uh, videos so he's also going to help because he also got many questions during a, what happens during a PhD and what are the other questions surrounding that okay uh, the next uh, question we received from uh, our, one of our viewers was uh, how much time does it take to write a PhD research proposal uh, I think it's a really good question because uh, if you want to start your PhD and you uh, manage to find a PhD pos uh, position, you always have to write and, and file in uh, a, a proposition. Um, and if you have a clear subject, what you want to study and it fits somewhere in a university or in a research group, uh, and it's clear and obvious what you want to research, then takes you not so much time as when you are really thinking what should I study, what is this uh, subject I want to look at. Uh, normally I would say uh, to write a, a proper research proposition, it takes a, a, about a year or so to, to, to find a really strong based uh, uh, proposition uh, which has a strong fundament from where you can work on. So. Um, what do you think? A year? Yeah, I mean, if you're a full time PhD based on my experience, and if your research background is also matching, then what you are doing now in your PhD and what you did before, then probably like one or more than a one year if you're really dedicated, like 40 hours a week, as we do here. So that's also a challenge, like mm -hmm. uh, framing your research questions mm -hmm. and finalizing your scope of your research with your supervisor and your team mm -hmm. so yeah I mean I, on an average I would say like based on my experience like maybe approximately one year or more than a year if you are fully dedicated and yeah. uh, maybe similar in your case or maybe a little bit more because you are doing a part time PhD yeah so. yeah but I had the advantage I did some formative preliminary research uh, before I wrote my uh, PhD proposal so I had a really strong fundament and a base from where I could work on and it r really fit fitted in into the tally research group uh, and, and that's why it cost me about uh, three quarters of a year to finish my uh, PhD proposal but I had that strong base fundament and if you don't have it then you, you need a, a, a year at least mm -hmm. to, to, to write up a, a good um, research proposal for PhD. Okay. Enjoy the different parts of the videos and please subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and comment below on all the things that we mentioned so that we can make future videos and we know what are your problems yeah. if you don't leave the comments if you remain silent then yeah. we won't know so yeah. thank you Nadi again for collaborating with this nice thanks for the invite yeah, yeah. yeah. and it was a pleasure <laughs> it will be going on like this yeah. to give you guys all benefits yeah. okay bye till next time peace yeah.